think it's mostly working. Right, good evening everyone. Thank you so much for sniping out just enough of your neighbours' fuel to make it here tonight. I hope it wasn't just me. It's genuinely very nice to see quite a lot of people. Quite a lot of people. We haven't been able to do an event for a while, or have done very little. So it's actually nice to be out and about and allowing people to enjoy what we do. And I hope you're enjoying what you're doing right now up here. I don't know about you, this is my first visit to the i360 here in Brighton. And I really didn't know what I was letting myself in for today because I wasn't paying attention when Adam explained it to me. All I heard was a bunch of airways and flights and thought, wow, that's not a free ambulance for me. So I'm going to come along, whatever. I didn't know I'd be holding a microphone. So, uh, obviously, what we have in here today is building that wonderful car over, over that side or right in front of you, depending on where you're standing, in just six hours here at 455 feet, waving about in the uh, breeze, right? Why here? Why here? Why not at the top of the Burj Khalifa in sunny, warm Dubai? Which actually is now a genuine question. I should be talking to Mark and Tina about next week. But I think it's easy to say that uh, I think we represent the best of British along with Brighton, uh, British Airways, the i360, and our friends at Halfords and Avon who are around here tonight as well. Yay! Yay! Yeah, so why not? You know, that, that's pretty much our motto. Why not? We can do it right up there at Brighton. That'll be, that'll be a lot of fun. And let's face it, who else can do it? Who else can put a car in here with all these people without it crashing to the ground? I hope that's an okay question right now. But it's only 440 kilos. We believe that's the lightest production car in the world. To put that into context, that's about the weight of six people or two American tourists. Uh -huh. Yeah. But being serious, we owe our car to Colin Chapman, and many of you will know, certainly enthusiasts will know amongst you. And I think if he was here with us today, he'd actually agree with me that this is good. I think he would say that, that he's his favourite seven. There's nothing in our range that typifies his ethos of simplifying and lightness like that little car does. And on top of that, he was a technological marvel. Um, and I think he shared a wry smile with me that in fact, that, and to give you a boring statistic, at 109 grams per kilometre, that car is actually greener than most hybrids. And I'm not cheating here, I don't mean massive BMW SUVs. That car produces less emissions than a Toyota Yaris hybrid. So if you can't charge off an electrical car and you want the uh, environmental choice, please remember to buy a petrol. I mean, but that's the side point, really. What's the car on the park? The car is all about fun. Now, I know the internet is telling us that 84 horsepower isn't very much, but as I said, it's... Well, nearly, don't move, it's food. As I said to someone earlier today, the internet is also telling me that the world is flat and I shouldn't have had the vaccine, so I'm inclined not to listen to that anymore. The combination of that lightweight and... Um, your no drive rage, just your right foot, and those skinny little tyres from our friends at Abel mean that car is a huge amount of fun. It's brilliant fun. And at road legal speeds too. But if you take it onto the track, you will feel like Fanjo and Osteo for just, and I will explain that to the younger people later on today. But that car, aside from being our entry-level car, that's what we call it, our entry-level car, really truly, that is a true driver's choice. Someone that picks that is someone that wants to drive. Anyway, back. <laughs> Stop moving. I'm going to say yeah, I'm going to say it. Back to the build today, and uh, I think we have to say congratulations to our secret weapons for getting completed, which was Joe, Dave, Alex, and Dan, who are uh, just. I, I realise I've just referred to his weapons. So, I stand by it. But, but a great job done by advice today. Yes, they, they did it comfortably inside uh, six hours, and they did it with the aid of a whole bunch of half and shiny tools, because they would have given it a go with their fingers, but let's face it, they couldn't do that. So congratulations, guys. Well done. Excellent, you. So I think that really is enough for me. I've certainly had enough of doing this. 
So enjoy what you can see over there. If you get bored looking out the cars, you can look out the window as well. But otherwise, thank you ever so much for coming and good night.